We are here, here because uh, Nigerians, they said they are celebrating C4 uh, independence. But we are not happy. We are not happy because of the hunger in the land. We are not happy because of the starvation in the land. We are not happy because people that are facing hardship today in Nigeria, they are enormous, there are too many. So that's why we are you know, here to tell the government that, oh, they need to do it right and not the way they are doing it right now. Can you give a brief highlight of how the protest started and how it has progressed up to now? Well, uh, the issue of protest cannot be said in a jiffy like that because uh, we have precedents. Our fathers in this okay. Our fathers in the struggle we started just like the, the, the Dimitri era days. Yet they they were they were able to achieve little because of the, what they were asking for us at that time. We have not okay okay okay. We, we started uh, from under bridge in Keja, uh, only that uh, the protest being teleguided in the presence of the Nigerian police. And, as it, uh, as I started the under bridge in Ikeja, uh, right from uh, our Awolowo our way down to Allen Avenue, in the presence of every security police. So down to Oregon, from the Oregon, we are here at the uh, uh, Memorial uh, Park here in Ojota. So we are here. But uh, what amazes me is that the people of this country, is not there, they are not ready for that genuine freedom. Because when you see a protester, and you people, people are passing, looking at us as if, oh, we are the ones that are suffering. We are the ones that are being uh, faced with the challenges of this nation. No. You see, like we always think, the struggle is for you and me. You see, we always think, also, come and join us, come and join us. Because this struggle of today is for both of us and for our children yet unborn. So that what we suffer for today, they will not suffer it tomorrow. So people, some people just take it and then going the normal way that, oh, things are okay with them. It's, things are not okay. Everybody just shouting under their roof. But whereas they should come outside and join us and make sure that uh, our voice is being loud and uh, clearly heard by the government. All right, so do you think so far the protest has yielded some results? Uh, well, we cannot say it has yielded results, but we have made a political statement. You see, that's what we are able to achieve today. And then what we are waiting for now is the outcome of today's project. Maybe the government will now go back to their inner room and deliberate about today's protest and then get back to Nigeria with a good result. We are hoping. What will happen if the government does not um, get back to Nigeria? Will there be another protest? Uh, definitely, of course. Because. Uh, if the government does not. Yes, yes, I, I'm coming there. It's definitely, of course. If, like uh, what we said on August 1st to August 3rd, we didn't get results. That's why we're here today. And today now, we are making our statement. We are waiting for results. Failure to get a good result from them, the process will definitely continue. The process will definitely, if government fail to yield to the masses' demand, you see, is, is, we, we will continue to be on the street until our agitation and our demand are met.